What's going on everybody? So the fish are spawning hardcore right now. And what that means is I kind of lose all track of what I'm doing because I just want to be out there plucking them off bed left and right. So basically on this video, I forgot to make an intro, forgot to make an outro. I don't think I hardly talk deer in it very much at all. So I'm about to sit down and edit this video. Definitely don't have an intro for it, but man, it is fun out there catching them right now. It's so much fun. I mean, I, I power pole down in one of these areas and there's fish just littered all through it spawning. I was trying to hold off as long as I could posting this because a lot of, by this little lake I've been fishing gets a lot of pressure and I know this is probably going to kill the little sight fishing in the areas I've been doing. But anyways, hope you enjoy the videos. I like putting out the good content for you guys. I will see y'all in the next video. I'm going fishing right now to make another one. Hopefully catch me a six, seven pounder off bed at some point in the near future. But anyways, enjoy the video. See y'all later. Came up and mouthed it. Look how skinny that sucker is. Very, very skinny. Huh? Yep. Nice one, though. Just came up and mouthed it off that tree. That should be a big one, but it ain't skinny. I ain't been catching many skinny ones. Do y'all see right there? Frog in the water. Let's go grab it. Anything else to do? Yeah. What else you gonna do with them? I just deleted my footage and didn't have wasn't, wasn't recording. Dang it. me a long time but probably worth it I ain't biting too good today look look that's that's where I fell hooked him earlier that's awful that's terrible I don't know so I broke him off foul hooked him and still caught him that thing is big I don't see his thing. That's, that's a boy, I think. Yep, so that one's close to a four pounder there for sure. Yeah, I'd already let him go. What do you want to do with him? His bed's right there, we need to let him go. He's, he's daggum thick, man. He's probably three and three quarter, maybe a close to a four.
I've been trying to catch him all day. He hit my trick worm first thing today. everybody Bassmaster Elite Series rookie Kyle Welcher here so all of us at Bass are trying to come together and tell y'all that this is a perfect opportunity to enjoy some of this downtime that I have I've never had downtime like this this time of the year where I'm not traveling somewhere but it's a lot of us are trying to spend as much time as we can with our super close family not trying to get too far outside and see too many different people but enjoy the downtime so this is a time of the year where we need to live smart and fish smart but this is also a time of year where the fish are the dumbest because they are up there. The big females are super shallow. They're trying to spawn. I mean, they're up there on beds. I'm seeing 20 or 30 in one little area every time I go fishing. I'm in West Tennessee now. A lot of these lakes over here have super, super soft bottom. So they don't really use it to spawn. And whenever I find one of those little harder bars or some kind of a clay bank that is right, I'll see 15 or 20 on bed just right side by side. It's crazy. I've never seen anything like it, but that's what happens whenever most of the lake is unusable for them to spawn like that. So this is a perfect time of the year to get out there and have a ball. So that's what I just want to come on here and tell y'all. Bass, all of us here want to tell y'all live smart, fish smart, but the fish are dumb right now, so go catch you some biggins. It's a great time of the year to be out there fishing.